Welcome to part one in the Create Music inside of Cubase Pro 8 video series. In this first tutorial, we're going to take a blank project and use a number of different creative tools to create a musical idea. The Media Bay is one central library which allows you to look at all of the media files you have stored on your local drives. Anything you choose can be played in the key and the tempo of your project, so there's no more time stretching or transposing. MIDI loops are a great place to start, and Cubase Pro 8 comes with a massive library of loops played by some of the best session musicians in the world. These are all creative ideas which allow you to very quickly build a track inside of Cubase Pro 8. As you scroll through and preview, a VST instrument will be assigned to the MIDI loop. And then when you find something that you like, it's as easy as picking up and dragging and dropping over into the project window. Chord track and chord pads are a really useful way of building on a creative idea inside of Cubase. You don't need to have an in-depth understanding of chords and chord progressions. In fact, you don't need to have any understanding. Let Cubase analyze the chords and add them into a new chord track, where you can access them by dragging and dropping them down into a blank chord pad. We can further our creative idea by building an interesting palette of different chords. These chords can be inserted into our project in a number of different ways. The Chord Assistant is a groundbreaking compositional tool. We can use it to find any chord suggestion to build on the pattern that we have inside of our project. You can preview different chord suggestions by clicking on them with your mouse, and then when you find one you like, drag and drop it down onto a blank pad. Move across to the proximity window for some more elegant and colourful chord suggestions. You'll find a chord suggestion for any musical application. From simple, popular chord progressions, through to more complex chordal patterns. The Chord Assistant helps us overcome any potential creative block. We can be creating music from the moment we sit down in front of the software. Assign an external controller for complete control over the chord pad. Now you're playing complex chords with the touch of a finger. You can record your own MIDI data directly onto a track, or you can let Chord Track do the hard work and simply route Chord Track through a VST instrument. In this case, Chord Track is controlling Pad Shop to add more atmosphere to our track. So far, we've used the Media Bay, Chord Pad, and Chord Track to come up with a very simple but creative idea and chord palette. Let's create some groove using Groove Agent 4. Cubase Pro 8 comes with Groove Agent SE4, which can do everything shown in this video. Groove Agent 4 has four drummers, which can play a combination of electronic, acoustic, and percussion kits. It's completely flexible, so you can have four different drummers playing different combinations of patterns and drum kits. You can also create your own patterns and drag and drop in between Cubase and Groove Agent 4. We can use an external controller to play drum kit parts or to trigger patterns. And now we can quickly preview different patterns or ideas over the top of our original creative idea. You can record these patterns directly onto the track or drag and drop them over. Alternatively, you might have your own idea. Cycle the loop, hit record, and Cubase will retain every take we do. And as the cycle point comes back to the start again, it'll simply mute the data, so it leaves us free to create a new track. We can merge cycles if we want, so we might put the kick down on one track and the snare down on the next track. Now it's just a matter of relaxing and finding an idea that works for your track. And Cubase comes with a number of MIDI editing tools which we can use to refine our performance. I'll use the mouse to drop the velocity on some of the harder hit notes. Quickly use a handle to affect all the notes in the recorded performance. Now we have less difference between the softer notes and the louder notes. You can use the advanced quantize function inside of Cubase to further fine tune the performance. 
Once you're happy with the performance, let's go back into Groove Agent 4 to fine tune the sound of the instrument we're playing. So I'm going to drop the tuning on the snare drum, just to give it a deeper sound. And I'm adding some more room. I can also change the mic balance, so I can move the bottom snare up and down. Let's add some reverb. We have four auxiliary sends, each with four effects slots. Each one of these effects comes with a number of presets, so you can find something very quickly. Groove Agent 4 interacts perfectly with Cubase, so we can also assign individual outputs and apply our effects in the mix console. Every one of these effects can be automated, so we can hit the right button, make changes, and then go back to read, and Cubase will replicate what we've just done. Let's move on to the bass, and we're going to use Hellion Sonic SE2, the flagship instrument inside of Cubase Pro 8, and the live transform function inside of Chord Track. Load up Hellion Sonic SE2 and use the media bay to find a patch that suits your track. You can see the media bay is everywhere inside of Cubase Pro 8, even in the instruments. I've got an external pad controller hooked up, and now I'm going to go over to the chord panel in the inspector on the left hand side and select chords in the live transform section. Now everything I play on my external pad controller will be locked into the chords and chord track. In other words, I don't need to know anything about the notes. I'm purely in charge of the groove or the feel. You can close your eyes and play anything, and it will fit in with the structure of your track. We're not going to stop there. Let's now shape the tone by loading up the VST amp rack. This gives us access to many classic bass amplifiers and cabinets. We can choose from any combination. We can add pedal effects master effects, and we can blend between different studio microphones. Engineer presets give you access to hundreds of different combinations. Cubase Pro 8 offers complete control over VST instrument parameters. You can define which instrument parameters you want to be controlled, and then over on the right hand side, instantly assign an external controller to a quick controller. Now we can be creative in the way we shape the tone and the sound of our instruments. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. In this tutorial, we've very quickly created an idea from nothing inside of a blank Cubase project. In the next tutorial, we'll record some electric guitar and vocals. We're going to look at some creative ways of editing performance, shaping tone, working with pitch, and generating harmonies.